Hi there, it's Cindy. We are down to Module 3, and this is the module where we're going to talk about character formatting. Basically what this means is that when you have letters or numbers, you'll want to change the original way that they look. So text, for example, is normally black, and it's a certain size and a certain font. You'll want to change those, and that's called formatting. You're going to see that when we get to Module 4, that's where we'll talk about formatting that paragraphs take on. But for now, we're going to talk about character formatting. Now, this is Section 1, and I want to start this module with talking to you a little bit about the autocorrect feature and some of the options available with it. So let me go ahead and flip over to a blank document, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There are certain things that are part of what we call the autocorrect feature, and let me show you what a few of those things are. One of the most common things is that there are certain words that if you misspell them, it will spell them correctly for you. The word the is a great example. If I spell it T-E-H, and watch when I hit the space bar, it spells it correctly for me. Can is another one, A-C-N. If I spell it that way, it'll spell it correctly. That's because when I show you the autocorrect feature in a few minutes, you'll see that if it's a commonly misspelled word, there's a list of those in here, and if it's in that list, it'll change it for you. Here's a couple of other things. Fractions. If I type one-half, for example, notice how when I space, it looks like one-half or one-fourth. Fractions are another part of autocorrect. How about an ordinal? Do you know what an ordinal is? An ordinal is the word first, like this. When you space, the ST becomes superscript, is what they call that. Second, that's another good example. Also, hyperlinks. So if you typed any email address or any website, what will happen is, once you get that email address or the website typed and you space, it will become a hyperlink automatically. That means that I can take my mouse and see how when I point to the word it says control click to follow the link? That means if I hold the control key and I click, I'll actually go to that particular website because it's a hyperlink. So I'm going to go ahead and delete some of this stuff. By the way, Control and the letter A will select everything, and then I'll just hit Delete on the keyboard. We're going to be looking at selecting text in the next section, so just know for now, Control A selects everything. Here's some other things that are part of autocorrect. If I type three dashes from my keyboard like this, and I hit the Enter key, notice it gives me a straight line all the way across. So if I need several of those, I can do that several different times, and I have several lines. And what's really cool about this is you can type on these lines. See that? Otherwise, if you type the dash like a lot of people do, the dash would just move over and it's a big mess. So I'm going to go ahead and select all that and delete it. And here's how you type bold lines. You're going to do underscores. Hold Shift, hit three dashes, let go of Shift, and Enter. And now you have a bold line. Now there's some other lines you can put in here as well. If you look at the numbers across the top of your keyboard, all the symbols aren't going to work, but a lot of them will. So like if I'm holding shift and hitting the pound symbol, which is over the number 3, and I hit the enter key, notice I get this particular line or border as it's called. Another one are the stars. If I'm holding shift and the 8 has the star above it, if I do three of them, notice I'm going to get this particular one. So that's kind of cool how that works. You can just have some really just neat effects within your document. Now let me go ahead and delete all of this. I want to take you in and show you where the autocorrect features are and how you can make use of some of this. If you click on the File tab and go down to Options, under the Proofing on the left, you're going to see Autocorrect Options right here. Now when I click on this, what you're going to notice is that here's some things that are checked automatically. That means Word will do these things automatically for you. For example, I am famous for typing two capital letters at the beginning of a word. Microsoft Word will make the second letter lowercase. Also, it will capitalize first letter sentence for you, and we talked about that way back in Module 1. Both of these will have exceptions, and that's what this is. So what you'll see under exceptions are 
This is a whole list of words you can type with a period and a space, and the next word will not get a capital letter. If you needed to add one, you would type it here and hit the word Add. Also, the tab that says Initial Caps. There are sometimes words you want to type that have two capital letters at the beginning, like IDs is a prime example. But if you find a one you want to add, type it here and hit Add. Okay. You'll also see that when we start working with tables in a later module, it will capitalize the first letter of anything in a table cell. Days of the week automatically get a capital letter. And also notice correct accidental uses of the caps lock key. If you've got the caps lock key turned off, it'll flip it for you. Down at the bottom, it looks like a list of symbols. You've probably seen people type the smiley faces in emails and things. This is how they type it and then on the right is how it appears. But if you keep coming down the list, you can see it's a list of commonly misspelled words. The misspellings on the left, the correct spelling on the right. So if you type any word this way, it will appear the way you see it on the right. Here's a couple of ways you can make a really good use of this feature. You may have some words that you consistently misspell wrong and you spell it wrong the same way every time. Go ahead and type in your misspelling on the left and your correct spelling on the right. You can also do things like this. If you have to type your name a lot at the bottom of a letter, put in your initials. Let's say your initials are SH. Over here, type out your full name just like you want it to appear. And so you'll hit Add. Don't get too hung up on these initials. You don't need periods, capital letters, any of that stuff. So I'm going to click OK all the way out and show you that when I type SH and I space, it puts in the whole name. So that's a great way to use the autocorrect feature. I'm going to go back to File and click on Options again. And when I go to Proofing and back to Autocorrect, notice that if I want to take my initials out, I'm just going to type it on the left and it will appear in the list here and I could just hit Delete this way. So that's a great way to go ahead and make use of that autocorrect feature. Now I wanted to show you a couple of other quick things. Notice this auto format as you type. A couple of things I mentioned to you when we were typing in that blank document. I had mentioned the fractions. We had typed one half, one fourth. I didn't mention this top one. What straight quotes means is when you type quotation marks, they have straight lines versus smart quotes have little curly cues on the end. Bold and Internet with Real Formatting. That one is not on here, and you may not ever use it, but if you wanted a word to be bold automatically, you just type a star, whatever the word is, and a star, and that word will be bold. Here's your Internet Network Paths with hyperlinks. That's when I showed you how to type in the website, and it would automatically make it a hyperlink. Here's your ordinals we talked about. And I was showing you also this dashes that would give you the straight lines. That's this one. If you happen to try some of the things I talked about and they don't work for some reason, check and see if they're turned on in here. That's really the big things I wanted to tell you real quick about autocorrect. I'm going to go ahead and click OK there. Just know you have autocorrect as an option. You'll see a lot of them happen automatically. And then I want to take you over now to section two and really start talking about selecting text. Hi, Molly here. Thanks for watching. If you need additional Word 2016 training, get our free two hour course for beginners. Click the Get My Free Course button on the right, and I'll see you next week with additional videos.